Edison's rival in the Battle of the Currents, the father of alternating current. An inventor with nearly 300 patents worldwide, a modern genius devoted his life to inventions, technology, and science, Nikola Tesla. Nikola Tesla, also known as the genius who lit the world, is one of the most influential inventors in history. Although its value was not understood at the time, it still continues to shape modern technology today with its inventions and ideas, and especially with its important studies on wireless transmission. Let's take a look at the life story of this uniquely intelligent inventor, full of creativity and tragedy, who opened the doors of the modern world to humanity with his inventions. Nikola Tesla, who is of Serbian descent, was born on July 10, 1856, in the Croatian village of Smiljan. Tesla's father, Milutin Tesla, was an Orthodox priest and a writer. Tesla's mother, Duka Mandic, had a talent for making homemade and mechanical tools and the ability to memorize Serbian epic poems. Duka had never received any formal training. He owed his visual memory and creative abilities to his mother's genetics and influence. Nikola was the fourth of five children. In 1861, he attended primary school in Smiljan, where he studied German, arithmetic, and religion. Nikola finished primary school, then secondary school. In 1870, he moved to Karlovac to attend high school. Tesla later wrote that he became interested in the demonstration of electricity by his physics professor. He noted that these demonstrations of this mysterious phenomenon made him want to know more about this wonderful power. He completed a four-year term in three years and graduated in 1873. Tesla returned to Smiljan after graduating, but soon fell ill with cholera, was bedridden for nine months, and was on the verge of death many times. In a moment of despair, Tesla's father promised to send him to the best engineering school if he recovered from the illness. In 1875, he enrolled at the Imperial Royal Technical College in Graz for studying math and physics. Tesla noticed his admiration for the detailed lectures on electricity offered by Professor Jakob Poschel. However, in his third year, he failed at school and never graduated, leaving Graz in 1878. It is among the rumors that he was addicted to gambling at that time and therefore could not finish school. His family did not hear from him after he left school. One of his friends came across Tesla in the Slovenian town of Maribor and reported the encounter to his family. He was working there as a draftsman. Tesla returned to Gospic and for the rest of the year taught a large class of students at his old school. Then he went to the Charles Ferdinand University in Prague to study philosophy. Tesla moved to Budapest in 1881 to work at a telegraph company. Within a few months, the Budapest telephone exchange became functional and Tesla was allocated the chief electrician position. During his employment, Tesla made many improvements to the central station equipment. In 1882, while on a walk, suddenly, the solution of the rotating magnetic field he had been searching for so long flashed in his mind. At that very moment, an iron rotor rapidly spinning in a rotating magnetic field, produced by the interaction of two different alternating currents, came to mind. One of the greatest discoveries of all time, the rotating magnetic field, emerged at this moment. In the same year, Tesla went to work in Paris for the Continental Edison Company. Tesla worked at the division in the Ivry-sur-Seine suburb of Paris in charge of installing the lighting system. There, he gained a great deal of practical experience in electrical engineering. Management took notice of his advanced knowledge in engineering and physics, and soon had him designing and building improved versions of generating dynamos and motors. In Graz, he first saw the Gram Dynamo, which worked as a generator and turned into an electric motor when reversed. He'd actually begun to develop plans for an induction motor, which would be his first step towards the successful use of alternating current, when he visualized the principle of the rotating magnetic field in Budapest. When he was assigned to Strasbourg in 1883, he built the first after-hours induction motor. In 1884, at the request of the company officials, he immigrated to America to fix the problems in the facilities and to develop generators. He started working at Edison Machine Works in New York. One day, after staying up all night repairing the damaged dynamos on the ocean liner SS Oregon, he ran into his manager Bachelor and Edison, who made a quip about their Parisian being out all night. After Tesla told them he had been up all night fixing the Oregon, Edison commented to Bachelor that this is a damned good man. 
He worked there for a total of six months, impressing Edison with his diligence and ingenuity. At one point, Edison told Tesla he would pay $50,000 for an improved design for his DC dynamos. After months of experimentation, Tesla presented a solution and asked for the money. Edison demurred, saying, Tesla, you don't understand our American humor. Tesla quit soon after. Some biographers argued that this separation was due to the different personalities of Edison and Tesla. While Edison was a power figure who focused on marketing and financial success, Tesla was commercially out of touch and somewhat vulnerable. In 1885, Tesla received funding for the Tesla Electric Light Company and was tasked by his investors to develop improved arc lighting. Even if he does it successfully, the investors showed little interest in Tesla's ideas for new types of alternating current motors and electrical transmission equipment. They decided that the manufacturing side of the business was too competitive and opted to simply run an electric utility. Tesla was forced out of the venture and for a time had to work at various electrical repair jobs in order to survive. After the unsuccessful attempt, Tesla found backers to support his research into alternating current. In 1887 and 1888, he was granted more than 30 patents for his inventions. One of these was the induction motor, which still powers everyday household items such as vacuum cleaners, hair dryers, and power tools, and uses electromagnets to spin them. In addition, Tesla designed the alternating current electrical system, which would quickly become the preeminent power system of the 20th century and has remained the worldwide standard ever since. In particular, Tesla's alternating current system caught the attention of George Westinghouse, who was seeking a solution to supplying the nation with long-distance power. He is the inventor who had launched the first alternating current power system near Boston and was Edison's major competitor in the Battle of the Currents. Westinghouse hired Tesla and gave him his own lab. He bought the patent rights to Tesla's polyphase system of alternating current dynamos, transformers, and motors. As interest in an alternating current system grew, Tesla and Westinghouse were put in direct competition with Thomas Edison, who was intent on selling his direct current system to the nation. The current battle between Edison and Westinghouse came to a head at the 1893 Chicago World Fair. Over 200,000 electric light bulbs in the fair were illuminated by Tesla's polyphase alternating current system. It was a spectacular display of lights and energy, which illuminated the exposition. It was a spectacle that amazed the world. More important, Tesla's victory over Edison in the Battle of the Currents was a win with far-reaching impact. Tesla proved to the world that alternating current was superior to direct current for safely transmitting power over long distances to a large population, and alternating current became the standard system of our modern power grid. Buoyed by Westinghouse's royalties, Tesla struck out on his own again, but Westinghouse was soon forced by his backers to renegotiate their contract, with Tesla relinquishing his royalty rights. In the 1890s, Tesla invented electric oscillators, meters, improved lights, he also experimented with X-rays, gave short-range demonstrations of radio communication two years before Guglielmo Marconi. He piloted a radio-controlled boat around a pool in Madison Square Garden. Tesla used radio transmission to power the first radio-controlled toy boat, controlling its engine, lighting, and steering with a remote control. Today's drones are based on this technology. The high-voltage transformer known as the Tesla coil, which he invented in 1891, is widely used today in radio and television sets and other electronic equipment. He was often invited to lecture at home and abroad. In 1895, Tesla designed what was among the first alternating current hydroelectric power plants in the United States, at Niagara Falls. The following year, it was used to power the city of Buffalo, New York. It was a feat that was highly publicized throughout the world and helped further alternating current electricity's path to becoming the world's power system. In 1895, Tesla's New York lab burned, destroying years' worth of notes and equipment. The fire not only set back Tesla's ongoing projects, but it also destroyed a collection of early notes and research material and models. Having become obsessed with the wireless transmission of energy, around 1900 Tesla set to work on his boldest project yet, to build a global wireless communication system to be transmitted through a large electrical tower for sharing information and providing free energy throughout the world. With funding from a group of investors, in 1901, Tesla began work on the Free Energy Project in earnest, designing and building a lab with a power plant and a massive transmission tower on a site on Long Island. 
However, doubts arose among his investors about the plausibility of Tesla's system. Tesla had no choice but to abandon the project. In next years, as the world withdrew from Tesla, Tesla withdrew from the world. Tesla lived his last decades in a New York hotel, working on new inventions even as his energy and mental health faded. By 1912, he'd become increasingly compulsive. He counted his steps, insisted on having 18 napkins on the table, and became obsessed with cleanliness as well as the numbers 3, 6, and 9. He spent his final years feeding the city's pigeons. He claimed, communicating with them. On the 7th of January, 1943, at the age of 86, Tesla died alone in room 3,327 of the Hotel New Yorker. His body was found by maid Alice Monahan when she entered Tesla's room, ignoring the do not disturb sign that Tesla had placed on his door two days earlier. Assistant medical examiner examined the body and ruled that the cause of death had been coronary thrombosis, that is a type of heart attack. Tesla devoted his life to the development of technology, indirectly of humanity. Its purpose was to provide humanity with free energy and wireless communication. He fought for it. He did not give up on his goal, even if he failed at times. As a product of his labor and unique intelligence, he left great inventions to future generations. Even though its value was not appreciated in those years, Tesla is today known as one of the world's greatest inventors and one of the few great minds and continues to shape and influence modern technology with his inventions and ideas. For more videos, don't forget to like and subscribe.